our final new trailer for the day is the first official spot for the newest Steven Spielberg film, The BFG. Disney's The BFG movie tells the imaginative story of a young girl and the giant who introduces her to the wonders and pearls of giant country. Upon her arrival in giant country, Sophie, a precious 10-year-old girl from London, is initially frightened of the mysterious giant who has brought her to his cave, but soon comes to realize that the BFG is actually quite gentle and charming, and having never met a giant before has many questions. Mark Byers saw this trailer for the BFG. I, I by the trailer, really liked it. I gotta be a jackass here. What does the F stand for? Friendly. Because, oh, okay. What is it? <laughs> Friendly. Friendly. Oh. I thought it might be something else that rhymes, sounds like fudging, because it is a big effing giant that grabs this girl and takes her off somewhere. I'm so intrigued. It was a great way to build a teaser because we got to know this girl's world a little bit, and then at the end, you see that hand come in, and it's like, oh my God, where the hell are we going? I want to follow it, especially when you throw that name Steven Spielberg. He's pretty cool. I cannot be the only person that when I heard the title BFG, I was thinking this was going to be a Doom movie. Like, right? Like, that's what we all thought. It's the big fucking gun. <laughs> that's the BFG. I don't know how you get away with it. I, anyway, I thought I buy the trailer. I do. I like the trailer. Um, it was a very nice trailer in and of itself. But then you add the name Steven Spielberg to it and you look at the trailer. You And then you look at this trailer through Steven Spielberg colored glasses and you're like, oh, this could be brilliant. This could be really good. So I was impressed with it. I like it for me. It's a buy. Yeah, I, I buy it as well, too. You could. This was the thing with Bridge of Spies, which I thought was a good movie just not great didn't feel like it had that Spielberg magic to it like didn't like I, I if you said to me Spielberg didn't direct that I'd be like okay that, that makes sense this one feels like Spielberg's magic already and I actually thought that scene when the giant actually discovers her start walking I was that was creepy mm -hmm. it, was, it was really and then she just hides under the bed and the hand comes in and it was a nice little fairy tale I'm a big fan of of Tintin as well too I thought Tintin was a great movie and this to me even though you know live action it, it felt like had that Tintin feel as well, so I, it was a buy. I'm yeah, excited kids for Kids are so stupid, you know? <laughs> kids are so stupid. That's it's like a generic truth. <laughs> you're going to hide under the covers with a giant hand? Get under the bed, dummy. There's no <laughs> monsters under there. It's a monster that's going to grab you if you hide under the covers. Pro tip. Hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.